on fire with we'll be lit, lit lit it's a unique hustle b- b- Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. Well, go on, you know, my dad? Man, and I got my girl, Terry Cherry, in the building. You know what it is. And you know I got reality TV. You know I'm here. You know I'm here. Man, man, it's going down, man. Love, love, and I got my boy, Coop, the hardest shooter in the land, period. Super is in the building today, so it's real serious. And he's sitting down recording us, and he ain't even moving. This is how cold he is. You know what I'm saying? Got a peripheral vision all over the room. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. But anyway, man, let's get to it, man. We wanted to talk about Diddy a little bit, guys. Um, I, this is a serious subject. You know, um, when you think about what's really going down with, with Diddy and the way that they, you know, they portraying him now, you know, we don't know. If Diddy uh, done this, we don't know if Diddy, you know. What are the been, allegations? The allegations, they're saying that there's been some sex trafficking. There's This is serious. They're and saying racketeering. racketeering. And murder. Murder? Murder. Yeah. Murder. yeah. And uh, don't but they, I don't they think nobody that said that, that yet. Don't it's, throw that in there. Indeed. Allegedly. In the yes, it is in the papers, too. That's all wrapped oh, up in this. Man. Only for, this for, real? for this particular one, it's about the trafficking. That's what got the feds in, involved. Trafficking? Because it, remember they they just um had the hidden cameras. So they gotta you know, they gotta run all this evidence back from all these um raids that they did none from his house. What's the definition of trafficking? What what are they when people saying traffic trafficking, what exactly are they accusing him of doing? What exactly is trafficking? Child trafficking when uh you child trafficking yeah I thought it when was, you do what explain what, what what it is to you what is trafficking to you when you take in young girls mm-hmm. and you put them around grown men and they doing adult things that is not appropriate well I'm gonna be honest with you what happens if they go in there and they they go in there and they find uh. What's his girlfriend? A young man. What's her name? Young Miami. Yeah. Young Miami. His, what is his what? ex. His ex. It, they they never was in a relationship. And he had plenty more. Okay, it but, but still, his sex slave, they could allegedly. be. They could be on recorder, yeah. right? Be having sex, uh, having all these parties. Mm-hmm. If these girls is of age and if they consent it, then there's nothing wrong with what he done. And they don't have to be underage for it to be sex trafficking. Did you hear what I just said? If they, they, if they just took somebody's porno from their house mm-hmm. and they grown and they all consented to it and mm-hmm. they wanted to have a freak party, then is this something that they can really, you know, hold them get? And I, and I said that to say this: you want to talk about freak parties? Let's yeah, talk about orgies. Let's talk about Hugh Hefner. Let's he talk had a about let's, house. Come on, let's talk about some of the things that 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 yeah. that, I, that people that don't Dance look like us. It. Uh, I'm with you. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. we cannot sit back and act as if, you know, that this stuff ain't ain't really, you know, th- th- that this ain't been going on. But it's they turn a blind eye to it. Elon Musk has had some parties. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of billionaires that have parties. It's a parties. whole island. So I'm it's not trying to justify island. him doing anything wrong to anybody. But I am saying <clears throat> the line has to be drawn. And we cannot just... Isolated to a Diddy situation mm-hmm. when you got a lot of people out here doing the same thing or even worse than what he has done. I believe that. Yeah. So I'm, now, now, now I'm not saying that to say they shouldn't arrest him if he did something wrong. I'm just telling you, um, there's others that, that I, I, I've seen some hell of a parties, and it wasn't just by him. I can promise you that. It's a lot of people with a lot more money than Diddy mm. just throwing these parties. Mm, we know. So let's talk about it. Like, like, what do you guys agree uh, that 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 Cassie he paid her off fast, thirty million dollars the next day she was paid. That was the first. That was the that first. Was the one. first one. Yeah. So I feel like they probably tried to do that for hush money. For but, hush money. Yeah. Okay. I think he or, was just, or just to quiet it down. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people do pay people off that we don't know nothing about. Mm. So I feel like that's that probably was what that was for, but. And then that go back to like um, when everybody trying to say Ryan Garcia, I feel like this linked into this situation as well because Ryan Garcia just came out about the allegations about the kidnapping of him and the uh, raping of children. I think he just scared the fight. And, uh, I, don't, I don't even think that he's scared the fight <laughs> because it's beyond it at this point. This man ain't never in his life tried to jeopardize his career for nothing. 
and he's putting God before us. So if you look at all his clips and, and what he's saying, we have to be as, a, like, you know, like adults. We have to be awoke and actually hear what this man's saying. I don't even feel like it. it's a nothing about the fight. But we, just like how we doing Diddy, and y'all say that, we doing him the same way. And he's a he ain't he ain't white culture. So the victims can feel the same way about what you saying about the Diddy situation. They can feel like, like ain't nobody. Just like how you just said, ain't nobody. Ain't nobody advocating. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody really, now you know, it's people saying that is true. Oh, they lied. Yeah. Or maybe this and this and that. They gonna say what they say. But the evidence gonna say something else. We only we only entertaining what's going on. But has the evidence came out yet? No, no evidence came out on you, the allegations. And, 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 and a lot of people, for nothing. but a lot of people, um, not I've seen some people go on social media and saying mm -hmm. how this a crusade against a black man, how we're trying to tear him down, and the people who are tearing him down is his own people, as in the things that we, people have been saying on social media, and everybody is just, oh he did he did it, but not seeing any evidence, or as you said, the man hasn't even been arrested yet. We led him. He's scared, just like Bill Cosby, the baby. Um, who else they tried to tear down? Uh, you could in the in the last you year. You, you, it's gonna it's repetitive, so you can keep naming uh, people. R. Kelly. I mean, um, it's so many black men. Oh, what's that man? The uh, Megan Good? Go with she dating right now? The actor Jonathan oh. Mayer. Jonathan Mayer. Yeah. You see all this this pattern that that's happening, and I and everybody's so oblivious of is what's it, is really it, is going it just on. Happening mostly to are. people that look like that's us. That's why they're speaking on it. Is we it, is, is oblivious. They speaking it, on it. That's what they. Well, saying. Let me tell you why is we it, oblivious. Why? Because when we were slaves and we got tired of being slaves, we started fighting back. So right now we is oblivious until it happened to one of your own, or it get too physical where it's an impact where it's, it's it's impacting our daily lives and it's going to come to a point they already and we still acting like we really don't know what's going on but it won't just like if somebody hits you you eventually you're gonna fight yeah. and i feel like we just we got to we getting to that point you know what i'm saying and that's why all these black men getting turned down no it's people that know what's going on it's people that's running from this situation because they are part of it i think people know it's just like you sell out for more Yes, that's that's all it is. Everybody got a everybody that's in everybody who who spoke about what was going on already. All the celebrities that it came out, they had their own opinions and and facts about what was going on. That's that's already been done. But what's to happen? The agenda is already in place, mm -hmm. and this is going to happen regardless. And they ain't through turn black man down. They already had this in place. Like it's it's almost like I'm I'm teaching you as a child how to be a drug dealer for you to get arrested or killed when you grow up. Just it's it's an agenda. Wow. Wow. I, I like what Terry Cherry's saying. She's not she's not backing down from the fact that people have a, a plot, a plight. Um and um and I agree that 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 is something is more to it than just, you know what I mean, what people are really letting on. Well, and I, I'm gonna be honest. Is. His statement. Yeah, he about. definitely did, and and that's the thing. I want to just say you got to understand, man. When you when you say something uh, about our people, all our people turn on us so easy. What is that all about? Don't you guys agree that it? it, it I mind just think of all these years and of what's been going on, especially our type of people. We the only one with the four hundred years of slavery that makes us think like that. We've already been trained and already programmed to think and behave this way. So now they be like, "Why we did this? Why? Why we did this? What we doing to fix it?" Then that's 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 what should be the main question. What are we doing to fix it? Everybody say like, "How we sitting around?" We could be sitting around talking about how we finna go march outside the White House and how we finna get these black men out of this jail. Because what we what y'all already did as the government then already programmed and we are allowing y'all to tear each black man down over and over and over and over again. We don't do nothing but sit here and make y'all money. Cause you ain't doing nothing but we we voicing our opinion, you ain't doing nothing but watching and and they getting paid. You understand? Well we really could be active. So only way we can change this is for us to really get active. So we ain't got to sit around and talk about how they turn this black man down. For our new generation and generations to come to fix this issue, you have to get up and do something. You don't have to fight physically. You don't have to, you know, tear up the world. You don't have to tear up your town. But you do have to stand together. And that's the only way that this going to stop. Wow. But do you think they should stand together and do something 
before the evidence, at least wait till they produce evidence first to see what is it that they all have. We don't need no evidence. The evidence is it. Every black man that got turned down. The Bill Cosby's, the R. Kelly's, the P. Diddy's. Can I say the, this? Why do we have to make it a black and white or racial thing? Because that's what it that's is. That's what it is. I understand it, but I understand that, but why does it, I mean, the man, if somebody accusing you of sexual assault or what, you know, whatever it is, why do we still have to, I understand the whole tearing the black man, but why ain't nobody make him take accountability for his actions? Well, one thing about it. I, Before I think all I, this, I think why I, ain't nobody say, I, I, I know it's money, I know it's more. Yeah, and yeah, stuff. yeah. So I, what, that's, that's where it started. Yeah, well, one thing about it, you got to understand, like I said, again, it starts there, but does it? Because when you when you think about it, if P Diddy is doing what P Diddy has done, and we feel like he's in a situation where he's been doing this over and over again, it was people there that was doing it with him. That's right. what I'm saying. It was people. That it was a lot him. of people there. It was somebody a lot is. of people. It was a lot but of people there. Had to train Every you. race was there. They were saying politicians and athletes and all different people was there. Well, it was a lot of rappers. But there. they was at his house. That's that's what I'm saying. Before, it somebody was a, said they made it, it was a P. Diddy. to the, his house. Yeah, I bet you it was a, a white man you know. behind well, that was puppet mastering him. I bet you it was a white man that was puppet mastering him that was teaching this young man, this young black man, right? And I ain't no telling how the white P. Diddy guy could be, you know what I'm saying? But teaching this young black man what he wanted him to, to be. You see what I'm saying? Just like, just these like, are all uh, alleged things and because there is nothing, there is nothing that shows that he even you you why pick him up if you got somebody dead in the red, right? Go pick him up, right? What you looking in his house for? Right. Go pick him up if he did something wrong, pick him up, right? That's what you're supposed to do when so if you got him, go get him, right? Because at the same time, the only reason that they do stuff like that because whatever they have, they probably have enough to pick him up, but they don't have enough to bury him underneath the jail. I say if you got That's him, the go get him. Why? They but if you don't, they don't, then get back. If you're gonna bring charges, bring it on. But quit trying to toy around with it because you don't know if you got something. What if somebody's trying to make a statement though? I'm hearing that. That's what Luke is. Luke is saying that they went in early to try to get all the evidence to take. Other people out of the scenario. That's what Suge Knight, said, what Shug Knight said. said. Luke said they doing it because he tried to do some political stuff. A lot of people are saying a lot of things. What's going on with what is going on with Diddy? That's the question. I'm gonna tell you one they thing. They trying to distract us from. But Diddy's really smart. Good. That's He's what they doing. They using a black man. They, they distracted the black folks from something. They, they tried. <laughs> they tried to stop their plane. They thought he had he had uploaded the video like he was on the plane getting hurt. You see what I'm saying? They tried to stop their plane. I don't know video. what the that man, is. That's that's an old video. He, 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 I be thinking he thinking like that BMF an old already. Video. Hold on, let me, no, let me, hold on, but, hold on, but, let me call. I, I told. I got to get him on the line. Oh lord. Go <laughs> ahead, but you want to go ahead and finish with no, you? No, go ahead. You can do. No, nah, because you ain't gonna be. I'm gonna have to set the earphones down for you to hear him. Okay. Because I was gonna say they don't switch this whole thing over to drugs now. You know Oh, they said it's drugs now? Yeah. Yes. Man, they're going to try to make something they stick got, to that's a what ninja. It's, Do you they talking about drugs. Yeah, yeah. There's a little white kid with the drugs. But they were saying that, now they saying Young Miami Did say was, catch me. um, you know, moving bricks make sure you can hear it. or that stuff. Man, that For man him. ain't look, that man ain't, can you, can you hear it? Can you hear it? Yeah. Alright, just sit but it down. But you know okay. what it's, all this coming from, right? Y'all know where it's coming from. What? what? Um, Lil Rod. The producer, Who yeah, 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 yeah. He well, he, it ain't just him by himself. But though. I'm saying a lot of this stuff coming from his statements. Like, hold, you know. on, hold on, let me make this phone call. See if you see it. I think I sent it to you. Hold on one second. We gonna get out. We gonna get OG Pyro on the phone. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? This OG Pyro, what's going on, man? Hey, 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 Big E, how you? Man, I, can y'all hear him? Yeah. All right, man. Uh, we are sitting in here on Boss Talk One Hundred and One, man. And I always, you know, I always get your opinion on this stuff, man. Uh, you can leave it just sitting there. You don't have to pick it up. Um, just uh, what? Um, hey, man, Diddy is still going through it. But I'm being honest, man. If they got something on him, why they ain't arrested him? Well, A A E. No, we. You know, we as 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 Negroes, we deal with the surface, right? And uh, I think it's a little bit more to this than what we we can see with the with the eye, right? 
Right. So, so I, uh, you got to understand, Diddy just made one of the biggest mistakes of his career. You know, he sued this uh, beverage company called Diego, right? Yeah. Diego is one of the biggest brands in England that it is, right? Wow. Diego has over 200 brands sold nearly 180 countries. Uh, is is one of the biggest alcohol makers in the world, it says, right? Uh, it's a... Uh, its stocks are one hundred and forty nine dollars and forty two cents. They their revenue is over twenty three billion dollars. Oh, oh, gee, you and got the all the the numbers down. We got this because you know they're gonna come and get at me if I say if, if I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> My fans is going. Oh, this old nigga say this and this and that. So one thing about white America, especially with London, they own Hennessy. They own the best scotch. They're the number one distillers in the world, Diego. And he made a deal with them. And I think it was January. He uh, dropped the lawsuit and they did a settlement. Right. 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 But white people never forgive you, bro. Man. You felt you was above a slave. So now they didn't want on a campaign and, I can't th- say the girl's name now. Somebody going, the one that s- sued, it's sued Cassie. him and he gave it. It's Cassie. Huh? Cassie. Okay. Allegedly, I wasn't there. I stay in Bompton, California, but I heard they was behind endorsing her paid the lawyer to sue Diddy. Wow. So it goes even further back. So the reason she even came forward, you saying she was already coerced into doing that, allegedly. Allegedly, mm. these white folks ne- they they don't forgive and they are not gonna forget. So, OG, why they bringing the drugs into this situation now? Why you feel like you talking about the little just, white kid with him and just, young Miami? They brought her in there. Some about okay, pink, pink cocaine or something like that. Okay, you know, you know, white America always give us a gang of window dressings, right? So once you say drugs and a black person, it's automatically a conviction. So they're saying that they don't know whether he was a part of it, but it was his own. He had something to do with it. These so are all, I, these I, are all deflections, right? It looks like it's it's pretty much deflections and things that they're throwing. I think they're trying to figure out how they're going to. You know what I mean? They're trying to get. It's like you trying to get somebody and wrestle them and hold them down. It, it's like you trying yeah. to figure it out because if you had, like I said earlier, if you got him, go get him. Right. Yeah. If you got him, go get him. If you ain't got him, then what you doing? Somebody trying to make a statement. They trying to teach a lesson. But yeah, but see the main purpose you to let you know that I can thump you. I I can do this. You you seen uh, article he's man? How concierge will change the mouth in the whole season? He don't watch it. Well, that's kind of what it remind me of. Yeah. Well, let Mm -hmm. me ask you this, uh, OG Paru, Miss Jamaica, like, um. Do you guys feel like what do you feel like there's going to be more people to come out or do you feel like everybody's going to come out has came out? Do you feel like there's some people that's behind the scene that's being talked to that we don't even have a clue of that they are already tapping into? Well, see, it was one time uh boss talk that morality uh was in morality it caused loyalty. Today, loyalty is who pay the most. There ain't no law. Yeah, they're going to pay some Negroes to, to testify against him. Wow. And and, and, and the thing I, I'm trying to just understand is, Will, you know, when you think about P. Diddy, when you think about all the stuff that's going on with his estate, his children and all that, busting all them homes, going all the way to Miami, going all the way down to uh, uh, California. They say they may have had a spot in, in New York. But at any rate, like, they put massive amount of dollars up against this to try to figure out a way to make it. It's looking a certain way right now. The media is eating it up. The press is yeah. on the highest level that you see it on right now. When you look at what's going on with him, the the, the way that the media is, uh, is is uproaring right now is is on the highest level. It's like when you lose. It's it's almost like the intensity of 
when 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 you seen it's even more than when R. Kelly did it. It's even on a yeah, higher level I mean, than that. It's it's high. It's <laughs> almost at a, a, almost uh, at a, a height of when Nipsey got killed. I, and mm-hmm. I feel like they don't want to waste their tax dollars either. So they gonna try to find something. They gonna try to get him for something. Well, oh, they, 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 the, the whole thing. They don't care about anything, but it's financial. They're gonna break it. They're going for the money. Diego, Diego is going to break him. They're going to make him back down to an impoverished Negro just where he was when he started. And you know, you you're saying the same thing that Luke, Luke is uh, uh, Luke uh, with the two live crew. Luke, Uncle Luke, Uncle, Uncle Luke, Luke now. Pop that yeah. coochie. Luke Skywalker. Okay, <laughs> you're saying the same thing, kind of that he was uh, pretty much uh, speaking on his well, like it's a it's a hidden plot. Because of the politics. big the politics, you know, um, yeah, and he had this to say about it. All right, man, Diddy. I'm wondering where all Diddy friends at. All the people who made money off of Diddy. Where's all his friends? All the people who sat there, ate off the man. Nobody is. Coming to his aid. I mean, y'all tell me how y'all feel about the Diddy situation. Going through some death, some deep. And for people to be out there piling on the man, that's, you know, I don't, I don't wish on nobody. It's obvious that uh, he has some situation. Curious to ask y'all something, right? When the last time Y'all seen any federal organization raid a mother in the daytime? In the broad daylight. They normally come, when the fans come, they be like 4 o'clock in the morning when you sleep. And then, don't they raid your house and they have a search warrant and they have something they want to lock you up? That's kind of interesting to me. You know, they all the guns and the tanks for some cell phones. I know I'm you know, I'm a, I'm I'm from the hood. And I know boy back in the days you were doing some wild and you had to worry about them people coming at night at early in when the you morning. Go and you get these billions and you see them put you up on a pedestal. That's that's because they put you up on a pedestal. They made you the guy. They placed you on every network. They sold you to all y'all on here. They gave you 5 million followers. They put all this, they dress you up like on the street. They gave you the Bugattis. They gave you the mansions on two different coasts. They put you up on a pedestal because they need you. It's like some pimp. When you got, when you, when you got your main girl, you dress her up and she look like this and look like that and do this and you march her into the, to the big room. I'm telling you. And then you start thinking it's about you and you want to take over there. Them people look back like this. Hold on. Who do you think he is? Oh, we'll show you better than we can tell you. Then they'll try to reason with you and they'll talk to your manager because your manager look like them. And they'll be like, hey, man, tell, tell your man to chill out. You know, and then the manager come in and he trying to keep his job. Hey, hey, guy, be, uh, calm down. And then you go walk around like it's all about you. You got all the, the cars and the mansions and the jets and all the yachts and all this and all the people running around. You talking about, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you want to fight. Now you want to bite the hand that feeds you. Don't your mama ever always tell you that? Your mama say, never bite the hand that feeds you. And so this is how the major corporations work when you try to come after them. Now you put a lawsuit in. Bam! Lawsuit. Suing them. As them take their company they down. They taking my brand and my name and likeness and they making millions of dollars. I want out of this contract. And now, mind you, these people on the stock market... They stock go down 5%. That just cost them some billions. So they're looking at this because it's affecting our stock. They got to hold on. You just 
some billions of dollars. These are major corporations that are on the stock market that you can affect their stock and cost them in one in one day billions of dollars by having their stock drop because your sneakers, you tell the people you don't want them selling your sneakers. Or you don't want them selling, you, they stealing money from you, ain't paying you off the liquor. Them people like, hold on, okay, get the lawsuit. Now when you get the lawsuit, you got to go to the, the judge, state judge, they definitely own the state judge because they're going to buy the, the number one law firm who put the most money into the state judge, into the, into the local judge campaign to make him the local judge. It's big bank take little bank. It goes back to CeeLo. The federal judge, they're going to then find out who, who, what senator and congressman that called the president to say, I need an appointment for my federal judge because how do you get an appointment for a federal judge is because I'm a major donor and hey man I got a friend of mine that's a judge man on the circuit level uh man I would love for him to be a a federal judge and I'm gonna max out in your campaign matter of fact I'm gonna generate a couple hundred thousands or a million dollars to put in your campaign you win the seat you didn't call up the president president then say hey look here man nominate this right here judge in here you got the state judge so then now you nigga, you black man who don't own these people company you want to talk all your cash money and you want to go after these people what ends up happening they start the smear campaign because they own they down with the media they got to smear you before you go into the courtroom of your peers, they go, okay, you, we can't settle with this dude. We can't we'll have no voice of reason. He want to act crazy. Now we're going to go after you. Now we're going to call up our same senator. Hey, man, I need you, man, go issue a search warrant, man. I need you to drag this month. In the hood, that's what we call. I want you to drag it. I want you to have all kind of allegations. So by the time he come in this courtroom, he gonna wish he know we gonna take every dime you got, cause we made you. You didn't make us, God. With my stock, you with my money, you with me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break you down to the lowest term. That's how it go, boss. So when you them people that put that bread in your pocket that made you, they gonna take, they gonna take you down to the lowest terms. Sound like the movie Scarface. Bingo. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we got to understand that that people are going to going to feel a certain way and say certain things. Diddy has done some corruptible thing, but Diddy ain't by himself. Like I said earlier, when you look at you look at what Diddy doing, throwing a party and you go. And I said, if young, Mi if, if young, what's her name? Young Miami, young Miami. And what's the other one named it? Cassie. If these people are of age and they're having freak parties and, and did it like watching another man be with her and they all consented to it. Is there something wrong with that? You got freaks everywhere. Young Miami Hugh Hefner like them was, Hugh Hefner and them was uh, 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 freaking harder than anybody I ever seen freak. Uh, before he passed and put it on public display and everybody was cool with it am i right be honest uh uh og pyro charlie sheen I, what, I don't watch porn I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no i'm just saying the, oh, play, yeah. the playboy <laughs> mansion the centerfolds and all that stuff in order for them to even do all of that <laughs> stuff Hey, that's a little bit above my pay rate. I just robbed banks, bro. Yeah, but you was, you was in jail. I know you had a centerfold in there. That centerfold, well, where, I, you, you, no, you remember sir, that centerfold? It, it, that centerfold it, fall in, out. In, in, <laughs> incorrect. Wait, let me check you this, bro. Incorrect statement. Oh, uh, a centerfold is like, wait, I, how I'm going to masturbate off of somebody I ain't never known. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> So I like dirty words, but uh, looking at somebody I don't know, uh, uh now nah, that ain't my get out. Well, I'm just saying, back in the days, it was a lot of centerfold circulating <laughs> through that uh, uh, San Quentin. This, yeah, <laughs> yeah, them, yeah, yeah, we had weirdos, all kind of weirdos, but I wasn't, a, I wasn't amongst them niggas. 
<laughs> Man, I just like I said, I, I hope I hope Diddy will be um uh you know, I don't I don't wanna no injustice on him, but let me ask you this, uh and and, and, and like I said all y'all can chime in, but where's all these people? That man had billions of dollars. Do you know he helped a lot of people? And maybe he kept. No, 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 no. He helped a lot of people, they like scared, Sweetie they Morning take Dude. Money away. They don't want no yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, like Mary J. Blige. Oh, I'm on my Mary J. Just shit today. Oh yeah, but I'm just that saying. Mean, you <laughs> huh? Okay, I mean, but okay, I'm e, a little wrong, you, I'm you, a little right. Uh, but you know, no, he's whatever. You, you don't think he done paid some light bills and did some stuff for people in the community? A lot of people have. That's in jail, right? No, no, no. What I'm saying is, why nobody's speaking up? Him and Jay Z did that party together. I seen him in that pink suit. Where Jay at? You see his they said they what coming for him what? next. That's what. what why ain't nobody you, speaking up for him? You were hanging with. What, him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't want nothing to do with it. You see how, how fast be on Miami got out of there? <laughs> she went back to her baby daddy like he dookie his pants on uh what's the first show? They not together. Uh Marco show. They not together. So 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 what you about to say, uh, OG Pyro? But when. When uh, David knocked down Goliath, did you think the rest of them fools tried to kill David? Mm. No, no. <laughs> so they, so you saying it's too much, too hot to handle, too cold to hold? <laughs> not right now. <laughs> Diddy, you on your own. <laughs> See what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Somebody, I mean, I think Tyrese again. I'm gonna say Tyrese is one I heard. He spoke out. Who else was it? Uh, it was yeah, uh, Tyrese, uh, you know, a rap, was it rap, 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 uh, 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 What's that boy named Stevie J? Uh, and who else? Why Another weird old oh, rat face. Oh, rat. <laughs> 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 who, 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 who else was it? Like That's what they call him on the thing. Like the Ninja Turtle. And he had a biggie shirt on. <laughs> but who else? Who else did it? Did it? Usher, why Usher ain't saying nothing? Usher, why saying. you ain't saying nothing? Bring Usher up. Yo, you don't. Why do y'all keep doing this? Like, like Justin y'all leave him alone. Cause he cool with Diddy. They just, they <laughs> like this. I was just hanging out. Everybody was just hanging out. Y'all act like black folks ain't scared of white folks. I understand these niggas scared of white folks. They scared. I'm saying, but at the same time, y'all got enough money to come out and tell us about it too, because. What but, you about to say, Usher's cool with Diddy, but he's getting paid by white America. He's not messing his paycheck off. Wow. Well, man, uh, man, P. Man, Diddy, P. P. Diddy cannot get Usher back in a Super Bowl. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he better shut his man. mouth and keep on dancing. Oh, uh, roller skate. Okay, enough on Usher. Y'all move on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> y'all, burn, burn, y'all. Y'all, y'all, brought, y'all, but you know, it's the same thing with Colin Kaepernick. All of these million dollar football players, you they wasn't they wasn't gonna lose their job because mm-hmm. he threw up a black fist. So wow. we're not collective like that. You know, you wanna hold your check. No, the hell with what's right, it's what's what's right now. Man, man, hey, man, thank you for calling in, man. I, I sure appreciate it. Um, man, uh, you always a delight, bro. We going we definitely go time back in as as this case further develops. We're gonna you know, keep yes, on we're gonna and, keep on and, and we're gonna keep on putting that pressure and letting people know what's going down from Boss Talk 101 perspective, y'all. And, and did anybody anybody have anything else that they wanted to say about Diddy? Take that, take that, take that. I, I did. I'm just waiting <laughs> on the list of all the celebrities that was mixed in with it. This finna be the rabbit hole of the year. Don't leave our politicians and athletes. Politicians and athletes right now, ain't nobody bigger than Diddy. He's the new Michael Jackson right now. I'm talking about famous. Okay. Guys. Wow. Hey, man. <laughs> listen, man. Make sure y'all get into the comments. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Um, man, uh, if you got something you want to add, OG Pyru said it's a bigger agenda. That was his big thing today. He wanted you guys to know there's more to it than what meets the eyes. Uh, uh, to sum it all up, uh, Terry Cherry, uh, she's looking for uh, the, the, the other people that's uh, supposed to be connected to this. She says there's going to be more to come. You know what I mean? It's going to be more people to come out. And uh, shout out to Reality TV. She don't want nobody to add Usher to it. <laughs> Even though Usher might be a part of it. <laughs> that, and, see, you know y'all turning on black you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm it's, saying. It could See be. how you turn it on okay, the black man. Okay, but then, See? And, and, and Mr. Maker, what was your last take on it to sum it all up? As y'all said, it's, it's something else. It's, there's something else to it. 
There's something you Most think there's definitely. a bigger picture. There's something else going on. There's something else, and I just think them. that everybody just needs to. Because speculations is not getting us nowhere. All it is is just giving us something to talk about, and just sit down and wait to see what happens. And also, you know, uh, you know what? How I feel about it. If you're gonna get him, go get him. That's what I say. Old if you, yeah, that's my whole slogan. If you got him, go get him. If you don't, then then let it go. Uh, but but if you got him, go pick him up. Yeah, yeah, because when you start taking people computers and all that, you're fishing. I know what fishing is. You're looking for something. You're combing through trying to, or you're throwing a distraction. They're up. waiting for him to make a mistake. To Check it, man. We're not, we not even for the play with it, with it no more. We're going to let it go. It's too hot of a subject. <laughs> <laughs> it's been another great segment with Boss Talk. What a, what, what a boss is talk, man. Make sure you guys keep following, keep watching. Thank you, guys. Thank y'all for coming and giving your opinion on Anytime. P. Diddy. I, I say I put this panel together so that we could put something together to show, hey, how we feel about this P. Diddy situation. He is a brother. He does look like us. And we don't know. The evidence is not. Go pick him up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how, uh, how did uh, you uh, black, uh, boss, boss talk. You got to tell America we are the black caucus of the ghetto. We are the black. So, you heard what he said. Say it again. They can hear you. We, we, we are the black caucus of the ghetto. We're going to tell the politicians what's real and we're going to tell the streets what's real. And I need all y'all comments to tell me what. I just, one person got on there and said, I got some like a girl. <laughs> I wish that motherfucker would tell his name. Hey, I wish he would tell his name. Wait a minute. Wait, I thought we said we was going to work on that. Wait a uh -huh. minute. Wait we a minute. We was going to work on your um, temperament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Wait a I, minute. No, no. This this over the, this over the fence. It's over the fucking fence. This Take is, it, man. Dope. Hey, thank you, OG. It, it's been another great <laughs> save with a boss talk one on one with a boss is talk. Yeah, we on boss talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see.